Yes. Who put my name in there? <laughs> I'm Hugh Crosby. I live at 167 Southwest 167th Avenue in Brooklyn. I'm probably the senior member of this whole group here. I turned 80 in January. I was in the meat business for 47 years and I retired from public supermarkets. I just want to share a little water history of Bradford County. I live on the Santa Fe River in Bragg Branch. Brad, Bragg Branch was named after my great grandfather. And as a boy growing up in the late 30s through the 40s, I chased cows all through the western part of the county on a cracker horse using a cracker whip. How many in here consider themselves part of crackers? How about a Bradford County cracker? <laughs> You know what cracker cows are? Mm -hmm. Wow. Well, I chased cracker cows with my father and my brother and my uncles and neighbors from Sampson City to Brooker through the Flatwoods. Pine trees, palmettas, and cypress ponds. In those days, there was water everywhere. We ran cows through water. The cows watered in the summertime and dry times in the cypress ponds. Ponds seldom ever went dry. The Santa Fe River never went dry. People come from all around to catch fish at Santa Fe River. Well, back in those days in the 40s, you could catch fish in any water hole in Bradford County. They had fish floating down the, the roads and places when it get wet like it is now. <laughs> but in, nine, I think it was in 1976, 74, it was the first time in my life I ever saw the Santa Fe River go dry east of the Brooker Bridge going to Gainesville. And that's where our farm is right on along there. The Crosby Farm, my grandfather raised 16 children there. And I was raised there, and my sisters and uh, brother was raised there. My two sisters probably talk half of you in this room if you live in Bradford County. <laughs> Marilyn Velaga and Elaine Griffiths. But as I say, I never saw the river dry. Bragg Branches seldom ever runs anymore. From the Brooker Road to on Bragg Branch, where you cross it on 18, going into Brooker, the dip there. Could I continue for a few moments? Yeah, two minutes, sir. Okay. I never saw that creek dry. And there was at least 18 to 20, 30 uh, springs from the road, the highway, to the river. You don't see those anymore. I used to see springs all over the woods out going from uh, Sampson Lake to Brooker. All through those woods there were spring heads. You can see spring heads, we had them in the middle of our field. All of them dried up. So we really need to be concerned about our water table. Thank you. Thank you.